in Rowan, surfing the Sabaya. Mm. Hello, here we are again. <laughs> Had a little bit more mate this morning. <laughs> mate, the Kaya Latte, and the Nopales, and Isnia. So many good, so many good goods in here. Okay, where were we? So, um, the quick realization is an extension of what we were saying earlier in terms of looking at the um, again looking at the large larger body microcosm macrocosm so we know that there is the solar pulse um, or pardon me the solar yeah the solar pulse between the central sun of the universe the moon Apku, and our sun that there is a conversation and a signaling like um, solar radio <laughs> We can call that song since you know our subconscious is human radio. We can call that solar radio. Ooh, good times. All right. So, um, and the understanding that when we go into the physicality, thank you, Mr. Joe Dispenza, when we know, again, on a neuroscientific level, that when we come to um, the physical space of aligning our hearts and minds, which creates that window where we step outside, which creates that moment in cranial sacral when all of the fluid through the whole body gathers up into the central nervous system all at once. That's actually, um, pe people can do that, create that experience for long extended periods of time. And this is created through meditation. It's also created through phys sorts of physical stimulation as in cranial sacral, pro um, cranial -sacral practices. Um, but so, and but we know that it also happens in very high states of meditation, and so this is the same as as um, the you know we now know when the electromagnetic field of the heart encompasses and aligns with the electromagnetic field, and influencing, encompassing, and aligning the electromagnetic field of the brain. This is a, another aspect of that same. So. When we look, when we're talking about where the goddess particle is coming from in terms of that void, right? That void is like that open space. And then what happens is, so the on an electrical level, our hearts physically produce an average, in, in, in an average human state so far examined, um, three, three pulses of light actually creates light. Our own hearts physically create sparks of light to the average of three per second in, the, in moment to moment. When we go into that space, the liminal space, the heart-mind alignment, um, the we gather all of the cranial sacral fluid up into our consciousness. The amount of light that our hearts emit increases to 15,000 15, from three to 15,000. So can we look maybe if again the, the body of the universe which is the body of the planet which is our individual bodies microcosm me, me, Midcosm, macrocosm. <laughs> Anywho, um, when we look at that, then is the goddess particle that ray of light? Had there always been this vibration of particles, but because it was so diffuse and so rare, it wasn't one of the particles that had been uh, that had been tracked yet. But now that this growing consciousness now that we're re that we've come this is the shift this is critical mass mm. this is the letter this is the masses like transcending criticisms mm -mm 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 -mm. so is in that way too the the goddess particle is is that the light response of our own hearts because it's coming from that void as we could look at um you know the we don't watch the light, where does the light come from? It, we know the conversation is between the central sun, the universe and our sun. 
um, and that this happens with all sons, but we do not actually see it. It happens in an interdimensional way that we do not yet understand, or in other, an other way that we do not understand. We have not scientifically tuned into that exact bandwidth of solar radio, you know, of the very mass varieties of channels and consciousness that there are to tune into, right? So, once again, embrace your own heart. Do it. Do the work. Do it. Do it. Do it for yourself because you deserve peace. Do it for your own life. Do it for your plants. <laughs> do it for your pet. Do it for your favorite tree. Do it for your neighbors. Do it for the earth. Do it for the planet. Do it for all the conflict and war in the world, all the hungry people in the world. Because the more light you bring, the more space. Again, we know one person in alignment physically affects thousands and thousands of people around them. Thousands and thousands. You know, the Buddhist monks tried to show us this in many demonstrations at different times um, where they would do intense mass meditations and everywhere we can track this, where they would tour the, when they'd have these large meditations, they would reduce the violence in the population around them. People that weren't involved in any way, and probably most of them didn't have any idea this was happening in their environment. But the peace is contagious. We are all tuned into the same bandwidths of radio. We are cells in the body of the planet. We are one consciousness experiencing itself, and we are here, and this is the shift. So drink it in, go to those liminal spaces, say, blank you, say thank you and bless you to all of the human feelings and experiences, love them, breathe, allow them, flow through them, work through them, come to that space, that objective space where it all flows by. This is how we heal the world, this is how we heal ourselves. This is how we love each other. No. Yeah. Oh. So that was just a thought. <laughs> it's been quite a moment. It's been quite a morning. Thank you for being with me this morning. And uh, so let's, uh, let's flow with us. Let's see what this healing, this solution is. Waxing our surfboards with the excitement, curiosity. That's actually what sparked this, was the importance, the difference in the line between curiosity and, <coughs> you know, reaction and action. And a beautiful road is curiosity. Kindness, compassion, curiosity. I love you and I'm with you. And I know that you're with me because I can see you. I can feel you. And this is fucking awesome. Bye, and Rowan. Waxing the surfboard with the shift. And liminals and diving into the liminal spaces. Yeah. Oh, orgasm's a liminal space. Just saying. Doodaloo.